Good morning, everyone. I'm Helen from Georgia, and I'm out here on this rainy, cloudy. The sun's trying to peep through up there a little. It rains like any time. It, it doesn't matter. It, Siri said it was going to rain today, so I was going to come out here early this morning, try to get a video started. Oh, I have some coffee too. This is my cup. It says, Helen from Georgia, queen of YouTube. I didn't say that, y'all. <laughs> I didn't say that at all. Someone sent me this cup and I like it. Anyway, I have y'all some coffee. It says, good day starts with coffee and birds. So this is y'all's coffee. Uh, y'all have some. If y'all way back there, come on up here closer where y'all can see and hear uh, what's going on out here. <laughs> There's not a whole lot going on, but I'm out here. I'm going to try to do a video this morning before it rains. Siri said it was going to rain today said this afternoon but you can't depend on what Siri says or anyone else in the forecasting form it rains when it takes gets ready when it gets ready to rain it rains you I was sitting on the couch the next thing just pouring out rain out here and I don't want that to happen today but I've been trying to get the get situated for when the weather, when it rains, I, I don't want to be out here and get wet. Anyway, I'm trying to get this video started out here today. And thank y'all for watching me and subscribing and sharing and clicking the bell. And, let me, let me, it's kind of uh, damp and wet out here. Cause it rained yesterday afternoon, but the sun has just came out, y'all. And I was gonna tell y'all about these flowers. Someone asked me about these little things here. I don't know what in the world they are. I don't know. These are zinnias, and they're blooming out there. I, I, I gathered some. These, a friend of mine that I worked with long time ago long time ago i don't even know how many years it has been but she had some of this in her yard and it was just it was it's dainty and lacy and it's just awesome i i love it, it and if you ever plant it it comes up everywhere i guess the birds may eat these little things right here and I drop them all over. I have them in the backyard. I have them in the front yard. I have them all out there, all around these. And I didn't plant them there. They just came up all over everywhere. But, and they are so pretty. They they make such a pretty little dainty uh, stuff to put in an arrangement. Uh, Y'all, Some people have asked me about my tomatoes, what kind they were. Y'all, I just went up there to Roaches, uh, a place that sells feed and seeds and all kind of stuff, and I got some tomatoes. I didn't even pay any attention to what kind they were or nothing. Y'all, I'm sorry. I don't know what kind they are. I thought about taking them up there to that place and showing them a tomato and see if they can tell me what kind it is. But I haven't done it yet. I, I don't have time for nothing. I mean, I, I'm doing something all the time. And it, and I, I'm slower than I used to be. <laughs> and I, I just can't get around to everything that I would like to do. 
I don't know what kind of tomatoes that is. I wish I knew so I could buy some more like them, but I don't know what kind they are. Are there any birds back there? I have hummingbirds. I have birds. And y'all, some people think these birds, like, are come through here and go on somewhere else. My birds are here year around. They don't. This is their home. They don't go away. My hummingbirds go away, but these birds don't go away. They stay here all all year. They they live here. <laughs> they they. This is their home. I feed them, and uh, I guess that's probably why they're here because I feed them. But I I try to help them out some. You know, I know it's hard for birds to find seeds and. Uh, something to eat and feed their uh, little ones and I, I I love my birds I love my yard I love life because y'all one one life is all you have and if you don't make the best of it then you don't have a second chance you 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 have one life to live and if you don't live it the way you want to or can do or whatever that's 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 your life so i've i've been through a lot in my life and i'm alone now and i'm i'm here by myself talking to myself <laughs> <laughs> but I'm talking to y'all really y'all y'all are not here all the time but when y'all are in there I'm talking to y'all and I'm just I'm just so blessed to have a home I thank the Lord for his blessings on me because he's blessed me more ways than anybody could imagine he gave me YouTube to try out and see I never I just I just got on here cuz I I've always taken pictures all my life I, I've been a picture taker I, I've just I, I've just when I see something real pretty or something that stands out I, I want to take a picture of it so I can keep it and and look at it after after it's gone so I'm, I've always uh, been a person to do that. I, I've always, always, well, I've never had, I, I haven't always have had YouTube. I just started this like three or four years ago. I, I can't even remember what I started. But I did not start out thinking, I could do anything I was just I just wanted to try stuff you know and now I, I make flower pots and I make uh, all kind of stuff you, you have to go back on my videos and look at all the stuff I've made because I cannot even tell you what all it is but anyway I, I enjoy my YouTube channel, and I'm so, so thankful for all my viewers and subscribers that come on here and watch me and ask me questions, and I wish I could answer all of y'all don't know. <laughs> I don't think y'all have an idea how much, how many questions people ask me, and I can't answer all of them. I, I wished I could. I wished I was like Cody. I could just type out. But I can't do that. I, I can't. I'm a one finger typer. <laughs> Y'all know how, how long it takes me to type out with one finger. And a lot of times when I'm doing this, I look back at it. There I've done capitalized all that. I got to take it back off. I got to rewrite it. Y'all, <laughs> this world's not geared up for 83-year-olds 
to do all the stuff that uh, is on that computer to do. I, I'm not geared up for it. I, I'm just I'm just trying to get myself through it the best I can, and and I hope y'all like it. I, I I'm so blessed that. I have, I think, 153 or, I don't know if it's 153 or 154,000 subscribers. I can't remember right off. Y'all, my brain is, my brain is full of uh, memories and stuff up there. And, and stuff can't get too much in, too much more in there. It's just <laughs> packed. <laughs> y'all don't know how that is unless y'all are, are old. And I talked to someone uh, a day or so ago about a lady that is a whole lot younger than me. The lady I'm talking, well, the lady I was talking to is not that old, but the lady was talking about, she is a lot younger than me. She is starting to have dementia that, uh, she gets all mixed up in her thinking and oh my goodness and, and and it just slowly progresses to get more and more where you can't think and where you're not thinking straight and they say eventually you just you just forget to eat and you, you just don't, I guess, I, I don't really know what it is, but uh, I know it's bad. I know it's bad. I, I'm so thankful that I'm 83 and I don't have that. <laughs> I, I have some forgetfulness, and I, I guess everybody forgets and some, but I can live with that. I can live with that very well. I mean, that's not a major thing <laughs> this bird up here is where is he he's up there somewhere in a tree he's trying to sing a song to me <laughs> i like your song <laughs> okay let me uh what i what i'm gonna do now y'all let me have another sip of coffee Oh my goodness, it's getting cloudy again. Clouds all up there. Oh, I got to get through so I won't be out here in that rain. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go around and show y'all my stuff that's still growing and pick some of it and and put it in my basket over there. I've already done that before, but I'm, I'm going to show y'all this again because I still got stuff growing and uh, I, I've got to pick some of it. And so I'm going to, I'm going to pick some of this uh, tomatoes. I have squash. I have zucchini. I have cucumbers. I have all kind of vegetables around there that I'm going to go around there and pick. And then, then, <laughs> I am, y'all saw my last video. My apples, my red apples out there. I'm going out there to pick more apples. This time, I'm going to pick yellow apples. They are on the tree, and they are getting ripe real fast. And the other day when I was out there, they, they were sort of not really yellow, but they have turned. Oh, I mean, they have turned. This, this rain and all this stuff has really turned, got them ripe fast. Anyway, I'm going to go out there and pick some yellow apples, then, then, <laughs> I'm going in there, I'm going to peel apples, and I'm going to make some apple tarts out of yellow apples. Won't that be fun? 
Yes, that'll be fun and good. I'm going to show y'all how I do it. I learned from my mama. My mama used to... I see people on YouTube calling them fried apple pies. I don't know. We never called them fried apple pies. We, we called them apple tarts. I don't know why, you know. I don't even know what a tart is. I thought that's what you called them, but then I see all these other people saying apple pie, a fried pie. So I'm, I'm going to make apple tarts today. When I get, because I can't stay out here too long because, you know, it's going to rain. It's going to rain. It rains every day, and we've had storms. Well, let me get my basket and go around here and let y'all see this little bit of, of uh, vegetables that I haven't gathered yet. All of it. I'm, I'm going to gather it, and, and I'm going to... Um, where are my birds? They're not even eating seeds back there. Okay, y'all. This is my... Some tomatoes that are... Still making. There's one way down there. Okay, there's one. This nice big tomatoes too. Okay. Here's my uh, butterfly bush. It's so big. <laughs> Okay, here's, here's some of my cane. Mm. All right, y'all, look. There's my, my string beans. going to come up here and show y'all there's can't hardly see the beans because of see that bean right there Pick some of the leaves off so I can see. Okay, there's some big old beans. Look. Here is a bell pepper. I don't know if it's going to be a red one or where it's a green one or what. Y'all, this, this is a cucumber. Look. Let me get my knife. If I can cut it. Look at there. <laughs> That's a big cucumber. Okay, let me put it in this basket. Let's see what else I got. Oh, I see something over there. I don't even know how I can get over there. I see, I think it's a zucchini. I didn't even remember planting one. 
But I planted a bunch. <sighs> Woo! Look here. That's a big zucchini. You can put it with your uh, squash and cook it or either I guess you can fry it I've got stuff everywhere and I can't get to it let me see if I can get over here I'm going to be in front of the camera but I can't help it oh look at here I don't even know what that is I guess it's a squash. How cute! It looks like little pumpkins. Okay, here's a, here's a squash. Y'all see those? These right here with this dark yellow, you can use them to fry. Y'all see my cane? It's getting pretty tall. Here's a, here's a squash. Oh, look at there. This is what I got. Ooh, I don't know what, I've never planted any of these before. Okay. <clears throat> Let me go on around. Okay, here's another one. Okay, I think I've got all I can get right here. Let me go on around here. Oh, I see a big one. It's hard to get over here. Oh, look at that. Gotta cut that one too, cause it's not coming. Okay. There's squash all down there. Okay. Here's another one. I can't even find y'all. Okay, there y'all are. Ooh. Let me move on over here. Y'all, I'm having, I'm having a time trying to lift this basket. And they're still blooming. This is another thornless blackberry. Good gracious! I'm having it. Woo! My goodness, oh wow. Y'all see? Y'all see them? Look down here in this basket. <laughs> My basket. It's not big enough. Oh, 
Okay, here's another one. Y'all, <laughs> in my basket. That's a big basket, y'all, and it's full of squash. Okay. Can y'all see all these squash up here growing? I'm going back to the table now. I'll see you around there. <laughs> y'all look at the blueberries. They are getting ready now. If y'all can see them. I don't know if you can see them or not. I'm trying to let y'all see them. Okay, y'all. I'm back out here again. Uh... At this yellow apple. Oh, I see some black clouds. I have got to hurry up. Y'all look. Uh-oh. I'm going to pick some of these to make my apple tarts. I'm not going to get those that I've already uh, put in the bags. I'm going to just get more and Oh, that's a big old nice apple. These are turning yellow already. Ow, that fell on my foot. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at there, y'all. They've been eating that this morning. Okay, I'm picking, picking these. Look at there, what a nice apple. Thank you, Lord, for blessing me so much. <laughs> How pretty. Oh, that is awesome. Let the squirrels have the rest. Okay, y'all. Is that not beautiful apples? Y'all, this is my apples. <laughs> ah, I have so many. This is a big old basket, too. Okay. I gotta take this big old thing about uh, this. This thing is heavy. I bet it weighs 30 pounds or more. <laughs> Let me see if I can get it. See if I can get it. This is my apples. And this is my squash. Y'all, look! The sun just came out. Can y'all believe it? Anyway... I hope y'all can see these apples. I can't see nothing in that camera. Anyway, this is them. And thank y'all for bearing with me through all this stuff that I'm doing. It is awesome, awesome to plant stuff and grow it. Never knew when I planted 
these little apple trees that they would be growing and producing this this kind of stuff but anyway y'all saw this is a this is a zucchini Can y'all see it? This is a zucchini. I told y'all when I was picking this stuff what it was. This is a cucumber. I'm gonna make some cucumber. You peel your cucumbers and you put uh, vinegar and salt and pepper and onions in it and let it soak and Y'all, I think I'm going to go in the house and uh, cool off just a little bit because it's cloudy, but it's still warm out here. It's very, very warm. But anyway, this is the apples, and this is my all, my, all my stuff that I gathered this morning. Did I? I didn't pick those tomatoes over there. Oh, let me get them. Get my knife. I can't get it off. Y'all look. Y'all, I got hung over there on a piece of wire. <laughs> Y'all see that? Oh, it's got a little green tomato on it. Oh, look at there, what a tomato. Can y'all see it? Oh, my. That is awesome. I got tangled up over there in that wire. Hung on my sleeve. I need to take a rest, don't I? I can't see y'all. Okay. This is all my stuff. Y'all, there's a bunch of it. Okay, I'm going in the house now. Try to cool off. It's, it's cloudy. Well, it, the sun just peeked through, but the Siri said it was going to rain today, this afternoon. So I'm going to try to get in the house so when it rains, it won't bother me. Well, I won't get wet. So, thank you, Lord, for all this stuff that I have grown that you have helped me achieve because I couldn't have done it by myself. <laughs> thank you, Lord, for all your blessings on me and all my YouTube family and all my church family. I thank you, Lord, for all of them. They are such a blessing to me. I will see y'all in the house. <laughs> I'm in the house y'all I had to run to, to the store for a minute guess what Siri was right it rained two times before I got well I went through a rain and went to town and it wasn't raining East Dublin then I come back about the same spot and it was raining again so Y'all tell me about it. I guess Siri was right. I'm peeling apples. Again. <laughs> I can't find my good knife. I don't know what I did with it. But it'll be alright. I'll use this one. It's not as good, but it'll be okay. Oh, I got this for the peelings. Okay, now I can cut out the middle. Okay, I got this bowl. To put the apples in. I'm gonna put them in water till I start cooking them. 
because they'll, they'll turn brown if you don't. Which I don't guess it matters. They're going to be brown when they get cooked, but... I'm not going to make y'all watch all this peeling because it's the same old thing over and over and over mm. I don't want to keep bumping that Y'all know, I don't know how people do it that has a big garden, a big one. Like, my little garden ain't that big. There's people that's got a big garden and long, long rows. I don't... I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they pick all that stuff and put it up and can it and all that stuff you have to and, and you and you can't wait on this stuff. It's just something that's uh and you can't uh, say well I'll, I'll do that tomorrow or the next day or something if it's ready you you are uh, pretty much got to get it when it gets ready or it, it'll ruin. It'll it'll get too ripe or get too hard. Or, but to me, squash doesn't matter to me. It might to, to other people, but it doesn't to me because a squash that's too too big and hard, I use them to uh, make fried fried squash fries. Oh, let me turn this back down a little more. Oh, and I've left them laying out, and they get really, really hard. But it doesn't matter. They uh, looks like these apples are turning brown, even though I've got them in water. It doesn't matter how hard they get. They still like potatoes, you know. They're they're hard, but they soften up when you cook them. But and that's the way squash are. Hard squash. They'll soften up when you fry them. And I love them like that. I I I like them stewed and I like them fried. And. I like them both ways, so I let, I let some of them get hard deliberately, so I have, because I think the young ones doesn't uh, do, do good when you, uh, oh how pretty, <laughs> the young ones doesn't do good fried because they're too salt. I, I've never really fried a real tender squash. You know, a lot of people uh, pick them when they're real young and tender because they stew them down and they, they have to be kind of soft.
But when you, I can't believe these apples are turning brown after I'm, I've got them in water, but it doesn't matter because they're going to be that color anyway. When I, when I cook them down, they're going to be uh, brown looking. Y'all, when I was little, y'all, I've told y'all that I lived in a house way back in the woods. No lights, no water, no, uh, nothing electrical because we didn't have any electricity. <laughs> but anyway, we... When, when when I was little and, and I got old enough to go to school, I was horrified of going to school because I had never been away from that house. We didn't we didn't have a car so we didn't go anywhere and, and didn't any any children or anyone come to our house. I don't remember uh any come into our house. So I didn't, I had never been around other children or anything and I, I was shy, oh my goodness, shy. And when I went to school, I, I had to get on that bus and go away but my mama, that liked to kill me. That liked to kill me. Because I, I'd never been away from her. And, and I, I, I didn't know what was, I didn't know what was happening. And the youngins on the bus were older youngins and, and they, I cried. I mean, I cried when I got on the bus because my mama walked to me with me to the place where you catch the bus, and that bus come up there and stopped and opened that door. Oh my goodness, y'all! <laughs> ah. I thought the world had come to an end because I did not want to get on that bus. I got I got on that thing and he shut the door. And I was standing there and he started driving off. And I looked I looked down there and my mama was standing there and I was on that bus. Oh y'all. You're talking about a broken heart. I was broken hearted. I did not. I never did really get used to uh, leaving my mama down there in where we lived until we moved to a, a town. We, we moved to another town. Uh, while my daddy was in the Navy, we moved to Swainsboro from Adrian. That's another uh, another town over from <laughs> Adrian is Swainsboro, and we moved there. And I sort of got a little more used to uh, the bus and all, you know, coming picking me up and me leaving. And but when I was when I was very very young. And I started to school, I'm telling you, <laughs> that is a very sick feeling is to, to get on the bus and leave your mama that you've never left 
Uh, my mama never left us anywhere. We never went anywhere except to town and to get supplies or something that we needed from that's the only time I ever we we ever even went away from that place. And y'all one time when we was living there I don't know how old I was. I remember it. I don't remember. I mean, I don't know how far back I can remember. I mean, I, I don't, uh, but I remember a pretty good bit way back there. You know, I remember things happening and stuff that, that I remember. But we was, we was at that house. I mean, it wasn't on no main road. It was on a little lane road to to where we, where where our house was. A little lane, like it wasn't even a, really a road. It was, it was a little made lane. Anyway, we was down there. Uh, I don't know what I was doing, but I remember. Daddy coming out, uh, well, he was somewhere around. I don't know what he was doing, but he was somewhere around there. Well, this airplane came over. And it, it was low. It was real low to the ground. It was just above the treetops. And that plane crashed up there in a field close to our house like uh I don't know how far it was it wasn't very far but it was a pretty good little walk up that lane and across the road that airplane fell in that field and it was it was our smoke was coming out of it and my daddy ran up there and my mama and me and my sister uh, went up there. My daddy went in that burning airplane and and got some people out of there. There were some men in there. Uh, I don't they what I don't think there was a whole lot. I don't know how many it was, but it was six or seven or something like that. I don't know. I I can't remember. I was. <laughs> A little girl but I do remember it very well I wished I could find something on that but I don't know if it was anything ever wrote about it or anything like that but my daddy went in there and my mama was outside of the airplane under a wing it, it started raining and, and she was sitting there and there was a young man that was on that plane his head was bleeding and my mama was holding I'm trying to see about his head y'all that that that's really a true story y'all it doesn't sound like it's true but it is Y'all, my camera cut off while I was telling you about uh, the plane crash. Uh, I was telling you that I know they must have been something wrote up about it somewhere because, you know, that was a, that was a, uh, had soldiers on it. And, but we didn't have any way of finding out anything, and I don't really know how to find out anything now. You know, it was in, 
It was in the 40s. Uh, let's see. I was born in 38. I was probably six years old or something like that because but but I never you know I my daddy died and he never really said nothing about that to nobody and I I wish that I had a mentioned that in at his funeral what a heroic thing he did to go in that oh look at that yellow apple to go in that plane because he didn't he didn't know that that plane wouldn't blow up or something because it was burning it, it had fire in it somewhere because I seen the smoke and but he wasn't a bragging person you know he didn't go around telling everybody you know anything that he might have done to save somebody's life I don't, I don't know what he did in there I don't know I didn't go in there and He never did say nothing about it. And I wasn't <laughs> like I am now. I didn't ask any questions. <laughs> My son said, I say, what? Who is it? What kind of car do they drive? What, what kind of, uh, what color is it? What color is it? Uh, what's this? What I said? I, <laughs> I asked called him questions. <laughs> Back then, I didn't ask nothing. He doesn't worry about anybody, what their name is or what anything about their family or no. I, I like to know, you know, people and what their name is, and I don't care nothing about what kind of car they drive. He was just kidding about that, but. Uh, he do, that doesn't concern him, you know. I like to, I like to know people and know who they are and who they can to and all that stuff, you know. <laughs> I might be kin to them myself. And y'all know, I'm kin. I'm I'm related to Francis Scott Key that wrote the Star Spangled Banner. That uh, key name is, oh, that's a pretty apple. Uh, my mother, my daddy's mother was a key and she was related, they was related somehow to the keys that wrote the Star Spangled Banner. So I was, I was always proud of that, but you know, he doesn't care about his, his relatives or nothing, he don't. He just does what he does and I don't know. <laughs> Everybody's not the same, I can tell you. Everybody's different. <laughs> oh my goodness. He was up there the other day cutting up back. Now who did you say it was and what kind of car did they have and what color is it and uh what he is going over all kind of mess that uh, he's he he is acting like I did that. Which I'm not. <laughs> I got that man. You know, he doesn't care about nobody's last name, what they I I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, everybody's different. I'm proud of my relatives and who I'm kin to and all that stuff. Uh,
what I'm going to do, y'all, is I'm going to put these apples on and let them cook. I'm going to let them, you have to cook them down like, like I did those other apples. You have to put them in, in water. Put them in a little bit of water, not a whole bunch, because you don't want them thin. You want them uh, cooked down like thick. You don't want them thin, watery to put in a pie crust. You you want them to cook down thick, and then when you get your pie crust, uh, I think I might have enough here. I'll peel up a few more right now, and I'll cook some. I I may cook some more later on, but there's no need to cook a whole pile right now. I mean, it's going to be a good many of these. I'll take that boy up there that... <laughs> he thinks... He thinks I... He thinks I'm overboard with my... Who people are and where they come from and all that stuff. <laughs> I mean, I've always liked to know who people are, you know. <laughs> I don't see nothing wrong with it myself. <laughs> he don't worry about all that stuff. And I don't worry about it. I just I just like to know what somebody, who somebody is, you know. If I see them, I want to know what their name is. If something happens to them, uh, I don't know what their name was. I hope nothing don't happen to her. But y'all, people are different in this world. <laughs> some people, some people talk a lot. And I don't think I used to talk a lot. I don't think I did. But, I think I talk more now than I used to because I talk on here and I guess I don't know I I don't know well it's one thing another thing is I don't have anybody to talk to I'm here by myself and I you know You get, you get where somebody's at and you want to talk to them, I reckon. I do. Okay, I'm going to, I'm, I think this is going to be my last one. And I'm going to pee. I'll peel the rest later and y'all will have to watch it. I'm not going to make, I'm just going to make this many apple pie tarts right here with this, how many I got cut today. But I may make some more uh, later on in the week. It's going to be the 4th of July here. That's just going to be another day to me. I'm just going to be here. Uh, be here doing what I do watering flowers and picking squash and picking tomatoes and making tomato sandwiches and uh, eating blueberries and y'all saw my blueberries they are getting a lot more ripe now than they were I keep, I keep saying I'm going to stop, and I don't do it. But I'm going to. After this one, I'm going to stop. I don't never know when to quit. I'm a... I'm a person that... I don't know what kind of person I am. I, I know one thing. I, I, I just... 
I say I'm going to quit, and then I keep right on and on. That's how I do out in the yard when I'm working in the yard. I'm, I, I'll am i be doing something, and I'll say, I, I'm going to stop, and I need to go in the house. and I'll keep right on chopping and keep on cuddling and keep on doing stuff that, that I'm doing. And I don't know why I do that. There's always something to do. If I'm not doing something out there, I'm doing something in here. And I'd rather be doing something out there than doing anything in here. <laughs> but sometimes you have to come in and do something in here. You know what I mean, burn. <laughs> Oh, good gracious. I'm glad I got somebody to talk to. <laughs> y'all don't talk back, but y'all do send me comments, and I read them, try to read them all, but Lord, y'all, I done told y'all, one finger typing ain't too good. But anyway, okay. I got them cut up. Let me, this is my peelings. I'm going to save them. This is my, this is my Towncraft cookware that I'm going to use because it's got a thick, thick bottom. And that's what you need to, so your apples won't burn. I don't know how come they turned brown. They didn't. I didn't think they would turn brown if I put them in this water, but they did. But it won't matter. Cause oh, that's a pretty good bit of apples. While I was talking, I was peeling apples and got a pretty good many peeled. Okay, this burner on over here. Get them started, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all rest a while. <laughs> rest from talking to me, me talking to y'all. I've got a lid for this. Let me okay. Already got. take them long to start steaming. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn it off till they get to cooking and then I'll show y'all my apples when they get started cooking. And then I'm going to turn off my camera and let them simmer for a while. I don't know how long it'll take, but I'll bring y'all back as soon as I start to do something with them. I'll, I'll bring it back bring y'all back. I can't even talk. I done talk so much I can't even talk no more. My son would be laughing his head off if he was here about me talking so much. <laughs> oh. It's going to take a minute. While I'm, while I'm sitting here, thank y'all for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing and sharing and clicking the bell and thumbs up. And all that sweet things y'all do. And y'all are the kindest people. If I didn't have y'all, I think I would be lonely. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm here talking to y'all. When y'all are way yonder, way, 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 
some of you are way way off but seem like when we get together when I when I get together I feel like I'm surrounded by my people that care about me and that it's so kind and uh, comments that they send and questions they ask and that's that's a blessing to have caring people uh, follow you and tell you how how they appreciate and they like what you're doing that is surprising to me I, I mean I don't I've never thought anybody would care anything about seeing nothing that I made because I, I believe it's rain. Let me see. But anyway, thank y'all for being the kindest, caringest people in the world. Y'all mean a lot to me. Thank y'all so, so much. Y'all see them black clouds? It is been to start pouring down rain. Yeah, Siri, you was right. It's beating the rain. Turn it back off now. Check on this stuff over here. Oh, it's steaming. Oh, yes. I'm going to have to put a little bit of water in it so they'll cook. Bring the camera over there and make y'all see it. I'm going to put a cup of sugar. This is how my mama did it, and this is how I do it. So I'm going to put the lid back on and turn it on real low and I'm going to keep a check on it and I'll, when I come back to check on it I'll come back and let y'all see don't go away y'all bye bye <laughs> okay y'all I'm going to I'm going to put some butter in it I'm going to put a half a stick of butter in this mixture it didn't take long for them to cook down but they need to cook a little longer and I'm going to put some apple pie spice in here a fourth of a spoon of apple spice spice <laughs> I haven't made any in a long time Here. 
these apples. Like cook down to applesauce almost. <laughs> it's got some pieces still in it. But they were ripe. They were very ripe. Mm. I don't think it needs anything else. put just a tiny bit more of that apple pie spice. After after they get through cooking, they'll have to cool off. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. I'm fixing to start rolling out my dough for my torch. My apple torch. They, they're they cooling and, and I'm, I'm about to roll out my dough for for the torch. So I'm, I'm going to put some white lily self rising flour in here. Let me get up. Uh, okay. I'm going to put that much to start with. Okay. Okay, I put, I put my, uh, White lily self rising flour in here. Some Crisco. This is how my mama done it. Okay. I'm just getting some on my fingers. Now I'm gonna put put my buttermilk. In. This is how I make biscuits, and this is why I'm going to make my apple tarts. Some people call them apple fried apple pies, but I call them apple tarts. That's what that's what I grew up thinking, and I can't change my thinking now. <laughs> okay. Put it all in there. I may have to put a just mix it up real good and you keep uh this is how you make biscuits. This is how I make biscuits. Let me get this off my hands. This is how my mama does. I wash my hands real good before I put them in this this dough. Pretty stiff dough. This is not biscuits. I wouldn't do this much to biscuits. But this is tart dough, so it's going to be a little tougher. Okay, I'm going to start rolling some out. Little bit. 
bit. I'm going to well, I'm, I'm going to make some coffee. Uh, I've already washed the pot and this is what I use. Someone asked me just what kind I use. I, I, I just use this kind. I don't know, you know, uh, I've always used it. I don't know why. I like it, I guess. <laughs> okay, I'm going to. I'm going to spread some, I mean, some flour out here, and let me go ahead and pour it in this pan. I'm using Wesson oil, that's uh, what I have. Cody got me this rolling pin. I don't even know where he got it, but it is marble. And it's heavy, and it is a good one. It is all, it's ex, it is really, really a good rolling pin. I've never, I had one, but the handle broke off. Oh, the coffee is all ready. Oh, I smelling good. Okay, now I'm going to start rolling out. need to move my camera back. I, I had it on when I was making coffee. And I, it's probably already made. Oh my. Y'all can't, I couldn't even see what I'm doing. Y'all, I'm sorry that I had the camera not showing. This is what I was doing, y'all. I didn't know y'all couldn't see it. Y'all, this <laughs> this is a pretty big undertaking. After, it's not, the, this is not, but all that I've done today, you know, picking and peeling and all that. Got this old lid right here that I'm, I'm trying to use it. I'm just cutting. I'm just cutting them out now. I'm getting them ready to fry some, and I got to get get enough ready to, because whenever you get started cooking, you you don't have that much time to stop and do anything else. Boy, this. I'm just rolling out these round things here so I could I'm not going to I'm not going to oh uh, fry all that I made today because it's going to be too long and nobody don't want to see me doing all this 
and I can show y'all how to do it. And then y'all can try. It would really be good to have some of this on 4th of July picnics and cookouts every, everywhere I have ever been to a dinner or anything. If they had these, you better get them while they was there because they would be gone and you would not get any. Here's the apples. Here's the apples. I need to get a little bit further back now. Okay. Ooh, this is kind of awkward. <laughs> okay, I'm going to dip some over here. I'm not, something ain't happening right around here. This camera is not doing right. Good. Getting a little bit too brown, but it won't take long for that crust to dry to brown. Oh goodness! I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off because it's 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 a uh, Oh, 
Okay. I'm going to put it in the oven because it's smoking a little bit. Okay, some smoke detector goes off. Okay. Let me come back over here to the... I'm going to take... No. I got through with these apple tarts. It's about whipping. <laughs> I didn't realize it was going to be quite this much to do in one day. But I got it done, and I'm proud to get it done. These apples were on the tree this morning. They're in, in this apple tart right now. Uh, Look at that. Don't that look good? I'm going to taste of it in a minute. I'm going to pour me some coffee. Oh, and I want to apologize. My camera, while I was doing this, when I was making the coffee, I put the camera over there on my coffee. Then I came back over here. And I was rolling out the dough, and I don't know what all I was doing, but what, uh, what all I was doing, it wasn't getting that part. I hope y'all can figure out what I was doing, and forgive me for not paying closer attention, but I've, I, I, just, I just had more going on than, than I could <laughs> keep up with, I really. I really did. I this uh, this stuff is like when you get started, you have to hurry up and do it. And then when you cook them, you got to be right there. You can't be doing something over here. You got to be over there watching it because it will burn if you don't watch out. But I apologize for any of the mistakes that I made during this. I really was trying to do it good so y'all would like them and, and would try them and, and I hope y'all still do. I think maybe y'all could get the idea of they are really not hard to do. It's just that I set out to do too much in one video, in my opinion. <laughs> I went out there and done all of this other stuff, picking tomatoes, picking cucumbers, squash, all that bell pepper. Then I went out there and picked apples, and then I came in and peeled them, and then I cooked them, and then I done. I really was doing too much for my feeble mind. <laughs> I didn't keep up with my camera when it was off and it cut off several times I had to try to figure out where it cut off and and all this anyway uh I'm done with it and thank the Lord thank you Lord for helping me get through this and and I want to I want to pour me a cup of coffee and I'm gonna pour y'all a cup of coffee Okay, this is the cup we had this morning. <laughs> uh, I just washed them and, and I'm using them again. Uh, I'm going. I'm going to get me a little saucer and put mine in it. Probably not going to eat all of it because they're pretty good size. Uh, I tell y'all what,
I'll take this one right here. <laughs> I'll put these right over here. I'm going to cut it in half. Oh, it looks good. Look. Here's y'all a fork, and here's me a fork. Y'all can help have some with me. Let me say a little blessing over this. I've done ask the Lord to help me all day. I, uh, thank you, Lord Jesus, for this. Uh, day that I have had and that that you helped me get through and thank you for this apples that I have grown that you you helped me to do that thank you Lord Jesus and I love you Jesus thank you for all the food that we have thank you thank you Jesus amen okay let me taste of it Oh my goodness. All that I went through today. Well, it wasn't much today. It was this afternoon when I'm trying to do all this. Was worth all of it. These are so good. Y'all have coffee too? How awesome, y'all. Oh my. Y'all, I hope y'all do try this. It might have looked like a hard... It might have looked hard. <laughs> I don't know. It probably did. The way I was doing. But it wasn't. Mmm. Mmm. I think I'll take my son some up there. And his wife. Mmm. Y'all, I hope y'all don't think this is more trouble than it's worth, because it's not. It's the way I, if it does, it's the way I was doing. Because it's not hard, all, all you have to do is peel your apples, cook them down, and... Put your sugar in there. I put about a cup and a half of sugar and an apple pie spice, about a half a teaspoon, and a butter. Just cook them down and roll your dough. You can do it an easier way if you want to instead of rolling out your own dough. You can buy biscuits or whatever. I don't, I don't really like to do that, but... This is the way I like to do it, but y'all can do it an easier way if you want to. But y'all is well, well worth this. People will look. This is the how you cook them in Georgia. I don't know how anybody else cooks them anywhere else, but this is how I was taught to cook them from way back when my mama was cooking on a wood stove. And this is how she did it. So... That's how I'm going to do it. Mmm. 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 
it's worth all this trouble that I went to. <laughs> mm. And Siri was right. It rained. Uh, so it was a good thing I went out there early, early this morning. Ugh. How delicious. Okay. This is my half. This is, this is y'all's half. Y'all are not eating much. <laughs> but I'll eat it for you. Y'all try this Georgia cooking. Oh, oh, recipes long time ago. They are delicious. Oh my goodness how good they are. And they're good hot and they're good after you cook them and let them sit too. Let me have another sip of coffee, y'all. Okay. Thank y'all so much for watching my videos. Sharing them and clicking the bell and thumbs up and all that stuff. Thank y'all so, so much. I am so blessed by so many people. I want to thank y'all again for bearing with me because I'm... I made some boo-boos on this video right here trying to roll out the dough and trying to put them I didn't have the camera right and all that but please bear with me and try to figure out what I was doing because sometimes I don't realize that that y'all are not seeing what I'm seeing but anyway I'll see y'all I'm gonna I'm gonna see y'all in the next video and I'm going to uh, show y'all what my big, <laughs> my big old tart. 